Hi, my name is Tara and I am not new to the beauty world but new to YouTube. A tutorial on how to get a really nice eye look for hooded eyes with the Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte. Um, I did my base makeup so that way it goes by a lot quicker. So I'm going to go and set my lids with this shadow right here. It's called Charmer. I'm going to take any kind of dense blush. Brush, blush dunch brush um, and I'm going to use the Luxie 229 tapered brush to do that. Like I said I'm just going to take Charmer and I'm going to set it. I use the eyeshadow primer so that will make it a lot easier. Then I'm going to take the shade Jet Setter right here. This one right here. Just take this Wet n Wild crease brush and I'm going to go and put Jet Setter into my crease. These shadows are super pigmented, so you need to be really careful. I would rather go a little first and then build up, then go too much heavy handed. And I'm just going to take it above my crease because I have hooded eyes, so I want it to be able to be seen with me looking forward. I kind of look down, but I, you know, will look straight ahead as well, so that way I can see where I'm going. So I just do this a couple times back and forth, back and forth, lots of blending. It's basically going to be my transition shade, and I'm taking it all the way in to my inner eye. just want this to be like a simple, everyday look, you know, nothing too, too fancy. A very wearable look not super duper glam or anything like that I'm gonna take this and it is a Luxie 237 and it's just like a smaller um, kind of crease brush and I'm gonna take the shade rebel right here and I'm gonna focus on the outer V with this shade tap off the access and just focus a little bit and I'm actually gonna kind of like Go in circular motions, you know, like this. And just kind of go up. And I do it like in this weird circular way. I don't know why I do it this way, but I do. And I'm going to take Rebel and do the same thing on this side. Then I'm going to go back in with that Wet n Wild um, crease brush and take Jet Setter again and kind of go you know blend this out a little bit blend that into my crease so it doesn't look super patchy like going from one to the other we always want to blend everything out and then I'm gonna go back in with rebel once again and just define it a little bit more over here because I feel like I lost some of that pigment over here and I'm gonna take a Kylie tapered brush it doesn't have a name on it it's just the Kylie brush I guess and I'm just gonna blend all of that in together because they're friends shadows are friends no they're lovers they're not friends they want to be blended together don't ask I'm a weird then I'm just gonna take this shimmer shade firecracker right here this is pretty 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 shimmer shade and I'm gonna take this it's a dome eyeshadow brush I don't know I got it at the dollar store but I love it for packing shimmers onto my lovely lid so I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna put it onto my basically my lid but I'm gonna save like the inner. Wow, that's a lot. I didn't know it had this much fallout. Um, it didn't last time. So I'm gonna brush that away. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my foundation after. Wow, that did not have this much fallout last time. So I'm just gonna focus that onto my inner lid, I guess you would say. Hopefully this actually brushes away because I'm gonna be really mad. Okay, so we have like a little bit of um glitter on my eyelid, but stuff happens right you just gotta roll with it I'm just gonna do the same thing over here just pack it on and just do the same thing leave 
that inner corner for what I'm gonna do next. And this is again trend setter just on my no firecracker I like on my lid. I'm not gonna bring it all the way up. See, it didn't have that much fallout that time. I don't know, that's weird. Alright, and then after that, I'm gonna take a makeup geek um, foiled shadow brush. And we're gonna take the girl, or the girl, the shade Funny Girl, ha ha ha. And wow, that was really corny, Tara. Super freaking corny. And I'm just gonna pack that onto my inner lid, blending. And you know what? I'm gonna actually take this Kat Von D um, setting spray and I'm gonna plop it on there and add that. Oh yeah, that is what I did last time. And I'm just gonna add that. And I'm gonna do another layer of it. Oh yeah, so pretty. Look at that, bam! That's what I like. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Just blending it in with the first shimmer shade that we had messed with, which was Firecracker, which was Fallout Heaven, which really sucks. Good thing it didn't mess up my eyeshadow look too bad. I see it just like made that so much right here. Oh yeah. I love it. I like it. I love it. I want more of it. Okay. I'm going to go in with my color pop. It is um, the color Get Paid and it's just like a very pretty, it's like, like, um, not, I wouldn't say fully metallic, but it's like a shimmery brown. So I'm going to stick that in my waterline and I'm going to go a little bit more down from my waterline because I'm actually going to use a shadow to kind of smoke, smoke that out. I love, absolutely love ColourPop eyeliners. They're just so freaking pretty and they last forever on my waterline. I've heard mixed reviews about people saying that they don't last a super long time on their waterline, but for me, they last a crap, a crap long time. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Royal and Langnickel Omani Boom 18 Detail Brush. I got it in a boxy charm, and I'm gonna take the shade Rebel right here, and I'm gonna basically kind of smoke out that lash line and then bring it to about three quarters of the way in. I'm gonna take the Morphe M562 brush and I'm gonna take the color Smarty Pants and I'm just gonna go over all that and kinda focus it more on my inner eye and just blend both of those together. For my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go in with this. And it's from, I never say her name right, Labove Cosmetics. Um, it'll be in the description box anyways. It's just this very pretty, like mermaid-esque color. So I'm just gonna swoosh it all around and you get like this very pretty purpley shimmer. I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner for like a little poppity pop of something different because I am something different. I just like little different things because I'm just that type of person. I really like to be different. I don't know. I like to stand out. I like to be myself. Yeah, so see like just a little bit of pop of color. I'm praying this video is actually gonna catch everything that doing. Hopefully I didn't just take this whole thing. I'm going to take the same brush and <clears throat> I'm going to pop Funny Girl and Charmer onto my collarbone. My collarbone. Oh my god, did I just say collarbone? I meant my brow bone. Wow, I can't believe I just said collarbone. Yeah, onto my collarbone, guys. I'm just going to pop it onto my collarbone. So just like kind of define my brow a little bit and give it like a little bit of a highlight when 
without being too dramatic. I do not remember this there being this much fallout. Now I have like a little metallic shimmer on my cheeks. It's the new bronze, everybody. Come and get it. It's the Tarte bronze on my cheeks. It's getting to be summertime, right? So I should just flaunt my bronze. No. No. For mascara, I'm going to go in with Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes. If you don't already know, I love Tarte. If you can't tell. I absolutely love their eyeshadow quality. I think it's like amazeballs. I really, 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 really love their shizmet. They're the tea, the milk, and the honey all in one. I always try not to go like this when I do my mascara, but it never doesn't happen. I'm gonna go over with the Wet n Wild Mega Length. I love this mascara because look how small the bristles are. And I can really get in there. So now I'm gonna set my face. I'm using the Kat Von D setting spray. And I love this. It's like cucumbers, all kinds of beautifulness. Probably shouldn't talk when you're setting your face. And I had picked out two colors for this look. One is the Sephora Longwear Lip Color. It's the Lack Luster Mats. They don't make these anymore. And it's in the shade Fig. And then I have the Kat Von D. I don't know what shade it is. But it's red. And I just think that this goes a lot better with this look. So I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder The Barest Contour Crayon in the buff. And outline my lips. like button if you like this video and